Let's go to Pippa Creer of the Mirror. Um, hello. So, Patrick, UK, UK COVID cases have doubled in a week. Matt Hancock says the virus is out of control. And we already knew that tier three wasn't working in London or Kent. Plus, we've seen people travelling across the country for Christmas. Why isn't the whole country now in lockdown? And Prime Minister, throughout this pandemic, you seem to have frequently overpromised and underdelivered. Whether it's turning the tide in 12 weeks, a second national lockdown being a disaster, cancelling Christmas being inhuman, it's become a pattern that we're increasingly familiar with. Why do you keep doing it? And do you recognise that it causes public confusion and crucially erodes public confidence? Um, again, the uh, tier decisions are not uh, are not ones that, that, that uh, are for me, but um, I will say that the uh, evidence on this virus is it spreads uh, easily, it's more transmissible. We absolutely need to make sure we've got the right level of restrictions in place. I think it is likely that this will grow in num a numbers of the variant across the country. And I think it's likely, therefore, that measures that need, to, need to be increased in some places in due course, not, uh, not reduced. So I think it is a, a case that this will spread more. Yeah, and Pippa, on, on, your, on your general uh, point, I think you have to imagine a kind of actual world in which we'd uh, kept the country in some kind of perpetual lockdown or uh, kept kids out of school for uh, the best part of a year. And I think that would have been uh, really disastrous. And it was very, very important to keep moving forward as far as uh, we possibly could. I think, I think that was the right thing uh, to do. And now that we've got the, uh, the vaccine coming uh, in the way that we have, I think that uh, we can certainly look forward to a very, very different world uh, for this country uh, from Easter onwards, as I think uh, 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 Chris and, uh, and Patrick have, uh, have said before. And uh, it, it's very, very important for uh, not just for uh, people's morale, but it's also totally realistic that we have every reason to be extremely hopeful about uh, this country's ability uh, to bounce back next year uh, from COVID. And I think that is the right thing uh, to say then and now. And I'll go now to Francis Elliott of The Times.